Hello everyone, my name is Jeff and I'm, I'm a spokesman from theboxmen.com where we change the way you should watch TV. I'll make sure that my, our website is in the description of the video, but in this video, we're going to take a look at how to add a mouse toggle to your Android TV device for success. So let's take a look. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Again, my name is Jeff, and I will not be too long, so I'm gonna jump right into the video. If this is your first time maybe on our Stream Machines YouTube channel, we are the Stream Machines where we take the difficult things of streaming and help you one video at a time. Do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me with the algorithm of YouTube. Well, they'll promote this type of video to someone who can really use it. So a mouse toggle. Most devices have a certain mouse toggle uh, that you can, you can do. Um, these newer devices like Mi Cools or even on 4K Pluses and, uh, or Pros, I don't know about the Plus yet, they don't have a mouse toggle and you're going to have to use that or set up something so you can add that. Now, why would you need a mouse toggle? Well, sometimes since you're streaming on uh, through the internet, there are certain places that you can't get to unless you change it to a mouse uh, where that little arrow comes on the screen and you can navigate to get or select what you're looking for. Going up and down or selecting up and down with the directional pad just sometimes gets pretty tedious. We're going to take a look at a website um, that is from Troy Point that gives you a lot of great different tools, one being a mouse toggle app that you can select and put it on your Android TV devices. Now, I will do my best uh, at the end of the video to put uh, how to get to Troy Point's uh, uh, website, and you could check that out. So I'm going to go right into Downloader. And when Downloader opens up, it opens up at the Troy Point toolbox. And you'll see right now that I'm at the Android TV right here, Google TV mouse toggle. Okay, so I've already turned on USB debugging and developer options for this to work. And I'll put a video up if you don't know what to do with that. Most Android devices allow you to unlock developer options. I mean, people do it on Fire Sticks all the time, right? They call that what? I don't know. You fill in the blank. I'm going to go ahead and click on download here. So it will install. And it says if I want to install the app, I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to hit done and then I'm going to go back to delete and handle delete right there. From here, I'm going to hit the home button on my remote control. I'm using a Mi Cool KM2 uh, device. I've had it for about four years and this thing is really, really great in these times. So as you can see, you have the mouse for Android TV. Um, if you look at the remote, I'll show a picture of the remote. There isn't a mouse here. So what you want to do is you want to click on this and it's going to open up and it should be able to walk me through. As you notice at the top, the access accessibility permissions, overlay permissions are not granted uh, and the accessibility service and overlay service is not running. So you have to highlight setup permissions. Now this will walk you through uh, where to find all of these automatically whether you're on a device like this or the on 4k pro it'll do it so i'm going to click set up permissions the first thing i need to do is allow display over other apps so i'm going to go down here and everything is alphabetized so here it is right here i'm going to hit the that make it allowed i'm going to hit the back arrow to go back one page so you see that's granted now it's going to go through the accessibility so i need to go down here and highlight this to toggle that on and enable Yes, I want to do that. Hit the back button and the back button again. And you'll see at the top that the all four of these have been granted. Okay. As you go down, you'll see some other settings here below where the mouse size can be small to large or scroll speed, fast to slow. You can just continue to go down to the bottom. What you want to do is you want to click on detect highlight that, press OK, because it's going to give you a boss key or let you create one so you can use this application. So what you want to do is click on or highlight detect and press OK. 
Once that's there, it said hold, press and hold the key for three seconds, then release it to set the boss key. Now, how I was taught, you want to select a key or a button that doesn't have a use where it's going to open up another application. Um, what you want to do, what I chose was the up and down channel list. And so that way, if I'm on the home page, it will not open up anything. So I'm going to hold the up channel um uh, key for three seconds and you're going to see a number pop up and when I'm done I'm going to release it and then this wants you to confirm the changes. Do you really want to set key 166 as your new box key? I'm going to highlight yes and press OK. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the home button just to test it out. Now if I did everything OK, if I push up on that key that I set, the up channel key for a few seconds, it should say mouse mode. And you will see that the toggle on this page will go up and down. There's left, there's right. What does that mean? So sometimes these won't, these will not, the mouse toggle, will, if you're in a place where I have to get up in the corner and the directional pad won't do it, this will do it for you and allow me to press OK on something with that. So let's say I want to get rid of the mouse toggle. Again, you hold up the key that you chose. And th in this um, instance, I chose the up channel. So I'll hold that. And it says scroll mode is enabled, is disabled. And now this is going to be enabled. So now I can go up and down, left and right, all of that. These are the types of tri tips and tricks that just save you a bunch of time save you a bunch of you know stress some people get very very stressed there's always a fix or a solution if you're willing to learn so i hope this video was helpful it really helped uh making it so i wanted to make sure it was simple you could pass this along now in the next coming videos you're going to see different links in the description because we sell several different media devices very simple very plain but very very effective the main thing is they're budget friendly. So we have our high end ones, which is for a more advanced crowd. We have our beginner ones that we really recommend just to get your foot in the door so you can start saving money and take control of your entertainment. I'm going to put a link in the descriptions. When you see those things, we're going to point those things out. And we give great, great support, great, great uh, discounts. And we look forward to serving you as well. As I close out this video, I wish you the best this week. I hope your Easter was excellent. Hey, and in, and in the comments below, let me know if you've used this or if you think it's going to be useful. Just comment below, and I greatly appreciate your time. We'll see you in the next video.